Hi there, it's Alfie from It's Me. I'm here today to share all you need to know about how to convert from RGB to CMYK. I look forward to sharing all the tips you will need as you progress through your creative journey. If you have any questions after the tutorial, please reach out to us via Instagram. You can drop us a DM or email us at learning at itsmegroup.com. Hi everyone, on this video I'm going to teach you a little bit about the importance of RGB and CMYK, why it's so important depending on what kind of project you're doing and also I'm going to teach you how to manage these color modes on Photoshop, InDesign and Illustrator. So to begin with, first of all you need to think about what kind of project are you doing? Is this something going to be more web-based or is it going to be more, um, is it going to be something that you're going to print? Or is it going to be both? It doesn't matter if it's both. It just matters what are you doing when you're exporting. Are you exporting it as an RGB or are you exporting the file as CMYK? So just to begin with, let's begin with Photoshop. So when you open your document in Photoshop, you have the option here on the right. Of course, you can adjust uh, your, your sizes um, just using 1000 by 1000 as an example. Uh, pixels as an example and here on the color mode you can choose what you'd like you can choose CMYK you can even choose grayscale if you'd like but we're just focusing on these two for now so if it's going to be more web if it's going to be something web based you can choose RGB usually when it's RGB you can bring it down you can bring the resolution down to 72 as the minimum so let's open that up so we have our artboard and everything that we're going to put in here is going to be it's going to convert itself into rgb colors now let's suppose that you're in the middle of a design and you want to print out your design well you can't print it out with rgb and before you export it as a pdf or a jpeg or whatever file you want you're going to have to change it to see to uh, to cmyk so the solution to that is you need to go to image up here and you go to mode and over here you can select CMYK. You'll get a few windows like this one uh, asking you if you want to do this. You just press OK. So now your design is set for CMYK. In the case of Adobe Illustrator, it's more or less the same. You have the measurements on the right and everything else along below so you can change the color mode so to CMYK or RGB. Like I said, RGB for screens, for anything for web, CMYK more for printing, and you can also change the uh, the PPI, the quality. So remember 300 is for uh, very high quality. You can do high quality stuff for on RGB, but mostly 300 is used for so when you're going to print something. Here, as you can see, there's an indicator where it says screen, 72 PPI. This is more for web. So this is a good indicator here. It gives you a little bit of a breakdown what's high, medium, and screen. So in this case, let's just choose CMYK at 300 PPI. So let's uh, put ourselves in the same situation where all of a sudden, hey, we've got this design here. We want to, yeah, we want to print it, but we also want to put it on uh, on the internet, on our portfolio online. So we need to change it to RGB. That you can just do on by pressing File here at the top, moving down all the way to the bottom, going to Document Color Mode and pressing RGB. And there, that really is all there is to it for, for Illustrator. You don't have to do anything else. So in the case of InDesign, it's a little bit different from Photoshop and Illustrator. So when you select a new document, you're not going to see the uh, RGB um, the RGB or CMYK options. That's something you can change when once you've opened up your document. So let's just open up this one. It's just a default document. So if you want to change it to CMYK or at least the transparency blend modes to CMYK or, or RGB, you will go to edit and on edit you will go down to transparency blend space and here you can choose which one uh, you want to use for the um, um, for your for your project so it's very important to know the differences between rgb and cmyk rgb uh, stands for red green and blue it's what you're seeing right now actually on your screen 
most monitors and TVs are, are comprised of red, green, and blue lights. While CMYK means cyan, magenta, yellow, and the K means black. The reason why it's called K because it's it's a printing term referred to as the key uh, the key plate because black is the key tone that is used to really bring out the colors in in any type of print work. So that's why they call it K. So as you can see, the differences between RGB and CMYK in an image is that RGBs are much, RGB colors are much more vibrant when they're on screen, while CMYK seem to be a little bit dimmer. Now you can print with an RGB uh, image. There's no problem, there, there isn't anything stopping you. The only difference is that what you see on the screen is going to be different if you print it out. If you print it out, the colors might be a will probably not be exactly the same as what you're seeing on the screen. While CMYK is a more accurate representation of what you're seeing and what's going to be printed out. So now you should know the differences between RGB and CMYK. So when the next time you open Photoshop, InDesign Illustrator or any other app where you can design or create that involves these, these color modes, remember to stop stop for a second and think about what you're going to do and how your design or where your design is going to be implemented. Is it going to be more web-based or is it going to be more, you know, for the printing side, is it going to be both? And you can plan it out. You can say, oh, I'm going to do the RGB first. I'm going to do all the web stuff first. And then I'm going to do the CMYK, the printing stuff after that. So there you have it. You're now ready to design.